About 40 family members told NBC News that they were dumped here by the new owner who resettled on the farm at the beginning of this year. The family alleged they have been living at Galbigan and Toko Lodge, now a resettlement farm, for over 20 years after they were brought in from rural Kauko land to set up Himba villages for tourist attractions and craft selling for an income. <laughs> When we came to set up the Himba villages, as women, we requested that we also needed our husbands. They allowed us. It was harmonious. We started farming also on the farms. We stayed there until farm Khalbachen was sold and houses demolished. We then moved to Toko. There was no problem until recently when we were told we should move out as our animals were too many. The owners of Toko also indicated they were only prepared to stay with 23 women with minor kids who can continue trading at the Himba village. It's how we ended up here. Chavara added, following the eviction, some men were separated from their wives and livestock were left behind at farm Toko, also known as Rasta. The evicted families are now living in squalor conditions on land belonging to a fellow and headman, David Mawundu, who is now appealing for government assistance. We do not understand. We want clarity. When government bought Toko, did they not buy it with people in it? Because people there were doing business to uplift themselves. We want the office of the governor to intervene as among those evicted are mothers and babies. They have no water, no food, no shelter. They are not saying they do not want to return to Kaokoland. This area has been their only home for years. There are school-going children who are equally affected along with their parents. I've knocked on the door of the village council, but help is just not coming through. Someone from the top office needs to come. We are all children of the government. Maundu also requested the police assistance to retrieve their livestock from Toko Farm so that breastfeeding babies can also get milk from the goats. When contacted about the evicted group's condition, Kunene Governor Maria Shea said his office was alerted to the matter, saying a task team will be set up to investigate and eventually find a solution. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Kamanyab.